You're welcome to Fate Immigration Canada. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page for the latest updates on visitor visas, study permits, and spouse open work permits Canada. Canada and Student Direct Stream Visa Program how it will impact aspiring international students. Canada on Friday, November 8, brought the Student Direct Stream SDS, visa program for international students to a halt. The Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, implemented the visa program in 2018 to expedite study permit applications for international students. This Student Direct Stream SDS, Visa program specifically focused on bringing student immigrants from 14 countries Antigua and Barbuda, Brazil, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, India, Morocco, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Senegal, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, and Vietnam according to the Government of Canada. The official website states, Canada is committed to giving all international students equal and fair access to the application process for study permits. This implies that all applications received till 2 p.m. Eastern Time on November 8 will be processed under the scheme, whereas all applications sent after this deadline will be processed under the regular study permit stream. The notice further mentions that the change in visa policy will not adversely affect eligibility for those who wish to apply for a study permit from a country where the SDS was offered. Furthermore, all students must meet Canada's study permit application requirements to study in Justin Trudeau-helmed country. What discontinuation of student direct stream means? The student direct stream program specifically had higher approval rates and faster processing times. However, following the discontinuation of this program, students from all the 14 countries mentioned above, including India, will have to undergo more lengthy visa processes from now on, this drastic policy changes for the first time in years comes as a measure to curb the number of immigrants entering the country. This recent move comes in the backdrop of economic problems ranging from strained healthcare system, rising cost of living and housing crisis, among others. Canada has updated its tourist visa policy, moving away from the previous norm of issuing 10-year multiple entry visas. Guidance has been updated to indicate that multiple entry visas issued to maximum validity are no longer considered to be the standard document. Officers may exercise their judgment in deciding whether to issue a single or multiple entry visa and in determining the validity period, noted a statement by the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC. The move comes as Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government, grappling with low approval ratings and growing frustration over issues like the housing shortage, and high cost of living, has announced a reduction in both permanent and temporary immigration reportedly, Canada is expecting more than 1 million temporary residents to depart as their visas expire in the coming years. The Trudeau government is also set to enforce deportations for those who overstay. Canada, previous visa changes. Canada has made significant visa changes under the Trudeau regime. In January 2024, the Canada government had announced a two-year cap on new international student visas in response to the growing housing crisis. According to data shared by Immigration Minister Mark Miller, 364,000 new permits will be approved in 2024, which could significantly impact Thank international students' Thank you for students watching the Flatter Immigration in Canada. Canada YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more for more visa informational video.